my new let's play of Police Quest in Pursuit of Death Angel. Something I think I just noticed, the uh, gunshots there, I think they come randomly because I was like testing out this out opening it right before I was going to record and I swear the gunshots were in different places, so I guess it's random. Fun fact! Anyway, as you can see the little badge there says Lit Police, meaning this uh, takes place in the fictional city of Lit. And you play the traffic cop, Sunny Bombs. Yeah, you start out as a traffic cop in this. Don't worry, it gets, it gets more exciting, but this will probably be the oldest game I have yet done. Uh, the one that was the oldest before I believe was Colonel's Meat Quest. So, as you can guess, this being an old Sierra game, it's going to be parser based, meaning we will be uh, typing in our commands. And wait till you see the graphics, oh boy. And I uh, love how they have the little Sierra logo in the middle of the badge. That's a nice touch there. Anyway, um, there's nothing here except credits, so let's get right into it. There's no actual intro. We just kind of start out. Oh, and I st already started walking. Because <laughs> I clicked. So there we are, the handsome Sunny Bombs. Oh yeah. First rate graphics. Gosh, what this what year was this made in? 1986, I think. Anyway, as you can see down there, we type things in. You should note that while you're typing, unlike Colonel's Bequest, while you're typing, things on screen will not stop happening. Meaning, if somebody's coming at you and you're typing, they're not gonna it's not gonna pause the game. You're gonna have to type fast. So you can uh do all sorts of things, so you know what? I'm going to get something out of the way right now. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, <laughs> that's a command. You can take off your clothes, and you lose the game. I think every single time I start playing this game again after a while, that's the very first thing I do. <laughs> An interesting approach, but fatal. Yes, you die from taking off your clothes. <laughs> oh. Next time, don't make this mistake again. So, uh, there was actually a reference to this in the uh, King's Quest 2 BGA Let's Play I did, but it was the, of course, BGA version of this game, because there is two versions. Uh, newer updated version is also available. I have not actually played it. Um, I was, the whole series 1 through 5, I believe, is available on GOG, G-O-G dot com. And that includes this version of the first game as well as the VGA version. So yeah, without further ado, let's actually uh, start the game. <laughs> so you can uh, click up here. Let's see, restart. There we go. And we start from the beginning. So let's go over here. Well, let's look. All right. So yeah, because graphics are bad, you're going to want to look to know what things are. <laughs> hmm. You know what? I'm just going to leave. Let's go do some police stuff. Let's have some police fun. Let's look around here. And you should note that a police officer actually uh, wrote this game. So this is very, uh, this has some accuracies according to police procedure and everything. You are going to have to follow procedure in this game. So let's exit and oh. <laughs> yeah, um. What you're supposed to actually be doing right now is attending a briefing. But since you decide to uh, walk outside and take a jog instead, you get suspended. And by the way, your boss is named Sergeant Dooley. <laughs> and that, of course, causes you to lose the game. Yes, I do like showing off game overs. So let's start actually doing some serious stuff now. Let's go over here. Look, keys. Alright, let's take key. So before we go to that uh, briefing, we have time for a couple things. We got ourselves a key. One point. Look, 
radius all right take radio a squelchy noisy but workable extender giggity And looking at that portrait, how that badge is like between the two radios, I always thought that was like part of the radio, like they had like golden, that one had like a golden thing attached to it. And we go down here, and we're in the locker room. Flint and PD locker room. Alright. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Fuddly. So yeah, these are our officers, and you walk up to them and you can talk to them. Oh, uh, let me guess the taste. Yeah. <laughs> so you know that all these officers actually do have their own personalities and everything, so it's interesting. The blue room. So uh, that's a place in Lent we'll be visiting later. So they're all uh, leaving for the briefing. Hey, I think it's I think that's perfectly fine, saving money and all that. Oh, look at the bottom right. <laughs> Someone's in the toilet. Anyway, your locker is right here. Okay. Oh, and there we go. So look your personal gear in your locker. Let's see, weapon in your gun belt, speed loader, ammunition, so da da da. And you own a Corvette, nice. All right, so let's uh, take some stuff. See, take the gun. All right. Take bullets. And take briefcase. Let's see what's in the briefcase. Open briefcase. Look at that fancy artwork. And a notebook and your official LPD ticket book. So we want those. Take pen. There's a reason why I'm doing this before I go into the briefing. We need this notebook. Well, for full points at least. High school graduation gift. Take notebook. And take ticket. By the way, I'm not the best typist, if you haven't seen that already. Pinch book, whatever you want to call it. Close case. Let's see. And now, close locker. And let me save here real quick. Just type in save, and you could save. And oh, yes, I am using this on uh, Scumsoft. Scumware, whatever you want to call it. Scum VM. Not on GOG, but it is available on GOG. Ten bucks for five games. Not bad. Alright, we've saved. And uh, let us head out. And uh, I might change up the speed a little bit, but I want things to be at a nice, like, slower pace so I have time to type, because there are times where fast typing will save your life. Hopefully, I made it in time for the briefing. I did, okay. Briefing at 1300 hours. And let's read this paper down here. Look. Let's see, read paper. Morning edition of the Litton Tribune. 
The Linton Tribune had opened the city of the city of Linton, once a beautiful, peaceful, quiet city with few major crime problems, was now experiencing rapid growth and prosperity. But along with growth has come an alarming increase in the crime rate that is... Oh. And that is just like a regular newspaper, you have to turn the page. You see Smugsville, da da da, President Hickel was in Smugsville yesterday evening, doing annual migration. Turn the page. Oh. Well then, <laughs> thank you. The small red belly swamp crawler is the president who has been a bird lover since childhood, rates the mating dance of the cuddler as being as, spe as spectacular as his golden crowned scum sucker. The president candidly admitted that he once skipped the. Th and then that continues on page three. Da da da. It is a piece of Linton. You know, I'll let you read this on your own while I. Because I'm probably annoying you by going back and forth like that. Before they show me the streets and the schools. Yeah, this is the one you want to pay attention to. Hmm. National Cobbler Day. Uh, Linden City Jail for the escape of a female prison inmate last night. Hmm. Uh, street Jail is the name of the Death Angel. Hey, that's the name. Uh, that he's in the name of the game. I wonder if he's relevant at all. May be responsible for the drug traffic. And for the Officer of the Year nominees, Linton PD Chief Whipplestick has nominated Sonny Bonds. Hey, that's me. And Joe uh, Walters for LPD Officer of the Year Award due to outstanding effort and commitment in crime prevention. Let's see, that's me, and that's Joe Walters, I guess. <laughs> I think Joe Walters is actually the name of the guy who uh, designed this game. And th I think that's because looking at his face now, that mustache, that's that's him, I think. <laughs> Recoup, I have a new pile of soil on prison laundry and a handfish basket. Uh, Kingdom of Daventry. Check this out. Is now under siege by a renegade three headed dragon. One unidentified gnome stated the kingdom is in a state of emergency. Yeah, this was. This game came out before King's Quest 3, so this was uh, a precursor, sort of a little uh, teaser for it. Nice. All right, we're done with that. And let's uh, go over here. Oh, wait a minute, wait. Oh, okay, I, we can do that after. <laughs> I'm moving with the cursor. Well, you know, I'm a handsome guy and all that. Oh. Okay, we're kind of cuddled up close. We're actually supposed to be on the left more. But this works. So yeah, everyone's coming in and I'm kind of stuck. This is uh, kind of awkward. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Sergeant Dooley. Alright. So we might want to pay attention to those numbers. Uh-oh. There aren't high school kids in their drugs trying to be cool. Number will be 83, 80, 83, 32. Oh, I know there are plenty of cops like that around here in Utah. Let's see, take notes. So yeah, you can take notes, like uh, what that license plate number was and everything. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that. You do want to take notes in order to uh, get your point, so... First note, important 
need to take notes. Need to take second note. Last required note. And uh, that gave us a point. We can uh, talk to people here. And because you beat the crap out of them, right? Good for you. <laughs> hey, come here. I want to talk to you, too. I'll catch you. You just wait. If we're not nominated for Policeman of the Year, yet we're... Like, they get mad at us for skipping briefings or for not writing enough tickets. By the way, isn't it illegal? Well, at least I know nowadays it's illegal to have a quota for writing tickets. Right now, <laughs> how about this one? Oh, that's fine. A handwritten message. Eleven ninety eight at Carol's Caffeine Castle later in the shift. What's an eleven ninety eight? Like I said, this is very procedural. Anything up here? Subpoenas. Okay, that's it. So, all right. Let's get into action. Let's write some tickets. Let's be the BAMF cop that we are. Alright, so there are some other places we can explore in here, but uh, we can do that later times. So we'll end up going to all of them eventually. Well, what? I'll just take a look over here, because there's one thing I want to see. If oh, hello. Undercover cops. Oh, her name is Laura. Ah. <laughs> ah. There's another word, touch. Oh, well. Yeah, this doesn't have a very big uh, vocabulary. I believe this is uh, Sergeant Dooley's office. It is, but he's not here. Oh, Lieutenant Morgan's office. Oh, hi. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're just a traffic cop. Let's look for uh, Sergeant Dooley's office because there should be something funny. Let's see if I can. S oh, that's an equal sign. Never mind. I thought pressing uh, plus would speed things up. That's usually how these games go, but I guess. Oh, that's the computer room. With that very modern computer. Geez, if that's outdated even for then, my goodness. Okay, this is probably off. It's been a while since I played this, folks. I, it's one of those games I've played so many times that I know most of it back to front, but, well. Still, you forget some things. You have to reacclimate yourself. This is the office. <laughs> yep. All right, all right. Just looking, he gets pissed. So this is the police station. Exciting, right? Oh, we'll be involved in a lot of this. I bet the narcotics part is pretty busy with uh, 
all that high school drug dealing going on and with the death angel dealing narcotics and now we can go out and let's take a look that Corvette is ours doesn't seem like there's much space to drive around like how do they park that's like some skill right there alright let me save and uh, let us get in I believe our car is this one get in close door yeah it's kind of tedious let's ride alright we are on our way yeah see that's us right there uh-oh. You skipped the required safety inspection of your vehicle prior to leaving the station yard. You now disabled here with a flat tire. Like I said, this game, very, very procedural. So, uh, safety check is pretty simple. You can do it uh, one of two ways. Let's see, do safety check. You uh, can do that on each side, or we, I believe, I, I think I'm right on this, just walk around the car. Uh, this might actually be in the later game. Let's see. If I get a message that I've done it right, haha, -ha, see? All you have to do is walk around the car. We're now ready to hit the streets. All right. Oh. Now let's get in and actually do some driving. Now this is probably the most frustrating part of the game. So I'm going to save again because it can get tricky. Well, as soon as I let's do that. And let me save again. Yeah, this episode's going to be a little bit longer, so I can show you a few things. So, where that little rectangle right there? Notice in the uh, middle, kind of middle upper part, there are lights, green and red. You have to follow the rules with that. If you uh, hit a red light, well, why don't you find it? Why don't we find out? Pretty much, you press up to go, and if you press up again, or the direction you want to go. So, yeah, let's see what happens when we hit a red light. We don't intersection controls when operating a patrol car in code 3 status. And even then, only using due caution. <laughs> and I think from now on I'm going to like skip this little message. If you see me, if you see a little message that pretty much means I'm dead, yeah, then this message is going to come up every time. So, how else can you mess up in this? Let's find out. <laughs> it's back to driving school for you, Sonny. And I believe you can actually get a different message if you have a car hit you instead of you running directly into a car yourself. Like if I stop right here, that car on the right will most likely run into me. Also notice there are quadrants. If you look in the upper part, it says map C3. We're in quadrant C3, so... Oh, it just ran over our hood. Okay. And you can make turns, so don't worry about that. And, uh, there's a freeway. You can get on it if you want, but there's nothing there, and it's really hard to maneuver, and there's really no point. Now, let's see if I can remember how exactly you're supposed to do this. Let's see, side on. F4 stop. All right, that's save. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Oh yeah, you have the different codes right there. Control D radios dispatch. Control J sets up joystick. So let's do. Uh, 
F oh, okay, there we go. Sorry, that was a bit of a hassle because um, in order to turn the siren on, it is F10. But unfortunately, F10 also happened to be the hotkey to stop my recording. <laughs> so yeah, that kind of got weird. Anyway, yeah, I can run through the red lights and go faster with my siren on, and there's no penalty for driving around through siren on. If you want to go faster, it's a good thing to do. Anyway. Aha. Dispatch squawks 8332, 8332, respond to 1183, southwest corner of Big and Fourth. Hmm. Well, what will we find there? And what is an 8332? I'm going to have to have look these things up and put them on screen. And then you can find out now and see what we'll do about it next time on Let's Play Police Quest in Pursuit of the Death Angel. Thank you for watching and have a good day.